So my lovely little Christmas present is ready. Oh. I have never come across a more nonchalant dolphin. Dolphin! Oh Whales! You can't even catch a fish here. And then just this little like whale just goes by. We might even see mermaids at this rate. <laughs> we have a problem. Welcome to our self-inflicted adventure. What seems like a lifetime ago, we left Australia intending to sail our way around the world. It's been a roller coaster since then, and while the plan has changed many times, we've been laughing our way through and learned a new lesson for every step of the way. And between us, the real adventure has only just begun. Marigo. and while we're here I am going to attempt to make a harness for our outboard. Our old one is actually broken also it doesn't fit on our new rather large outboard so that's what I'm going to do today. One strap done that was very easy. <laughs> All right on to the next two. How did that go? So my lovely little Christmas present is ready. Do you love the red ribbon? As you can see, we have hoisted it. And as you can see, it's not in the water, so it worked. One goes underneath the tiller. And the other one, which is why we had a problem with the generic ones from the, um, the shops, is that this has such a round back, nothing would actually hook onto there. So I've made another kind of, a preferred, uh, someone else has referred to it as a safety strap. On here, I've also done some uh, D-rings, I think they're called. And on this side here, we have some buckle clips to attach everything and tighten everything down. That was, I think, like a two, three hour project. All right, so as you can see, the outboard is hoisted, the dinghy's on the deck, and uh, we figured, well, while the boat's sort of buttoned up, we take this opportunity to go out for a sail. Second point is that it is Craig, formerly of Cooking with Craig fame. Give us a wave, Craig. On the first episode of Cooking with Craig. <laughs> uh, got you here. Next thing I'm on the helm. Just lost the race. It's his birthday tomorrow and he's around at Grand Case. So we're just gonna go around there, get a change of scenery, go for a sail and be where we need to be when he uh, turns over another year of life. So uh, it's a pretty calm day. I haven't seen more than 10 knots on the dial all morning, but hey, any day out under sail is a good day. At least it's not raining. Touch wood. Busy. He's got the sail half up. I'm a bit lighter. Good practice for the hydrogen. Pretty much, yeah, that's why I was like, you know what, we're, I shouldn't wrestle this. If I have to put any kind of force or gumption into the steering wheel at all, go to the sails instead of go to the, go to the guns. Because <laughs> it's bad practice and it's okay on occasional gusts, but it's more of a thinking exercise for me to always know what to do to adjust the sails to balance it out in lieu of just wrestling it. Trying to alleviate the I'm basically trying to steer the boat with the main sheet. But 
which is pretty simple stuff, you know, bring it in, let it out, bring it in, let it out. But I'm trying to find the sweet spot where the main, sh the main sail is not backfilling from the head sail. I don't think I can achieve it, to be honest. I don't think there's a sweet spot in this breeze. We're right, much like the other day, we're right on that. It's gusting over and below, over and below the reefing wind point. Yes, yes, I know the wind is changing, thank you. So, I thought you were steering the main, not the autopilot. No, good, yeah, fair point. Um, <laughs> point well made. I'm using the, the autopilot, um, the, the king spoke, which is this spoke here with a big knot on it, um, and the main to, to sort of gauge how the autopilot reacts to me using the pressure. So my objective is to have between here and here dead centre, because that is rather dead centre. So if the rudder is dead centre, then the helm is not required and the boat is balanced. Sorry? Should we tack back to see them? Oh. I have never come across a more nonchalant dolphin. And we're just like, oh hey, kept on swimming. <laughs> Usually they at least come and like hang out on the bow for a minute. Not so much as a tip of the cap. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I've never come across a more excited man <laughs> over dolphins. <laughs> dolphins! I think they did, maybe they didn't like our singing as much as we thought they did. Mama! Mama! <laughs> didn't mean to make you cry. I'm not back again this time tomorrow. Out. If you hang out this boat, you'll get your ears bashed. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. Meanwhile, we've just completely gone past Grand Case because it's so early, and we're like, why not just have more of a sail when we can? What are you doing? Looking at the main, looking at the draft shape of the main. Sometimes I feel like the best way to learn about sail trim and stuff is to brush up in the books and read all the literature and you know if this do that but then to just sort of take what you've learned and just watch and just sit here and just watch and like see what the wind's doing see what the wolves are doing see where it's fluttering and where it's backfilling and what the draft stripes look like and just watch and then go and have an idea and make a change and then watch it again. And just keep watching. Oh my. Whales! Whoa! Uh, the way. You're fine. Good camera, I need the better camera, quick. Come a little left. Wow! He's huge! Wow. Oh my god! That freaked me out! Oh wow! What is that white stuff? That's the whale! Hey buddy! Two of them! Oh my god, Adam was squealing at dolphins. This is like way better. <laughs> Should I tack back? Yeah. Just tacking so we can come back and see them. <laughs> Oh my god, that was so cool! I can't believe that! Like, in the middle of this channel, you can't even catch a fish here! And then just this little, like, whale just goes by. Two whales, in fact. Oh, this has been amazing! I'm so... It's, um... So I was driving, and Adam was winching or something, and he was doing... his was busy, and all I saw was just this, like, black lump, or, like, this black piece and I was like oh my god is that a container or something Adam 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 what is it what is it what is that just slapping him because I might be about to run to this black container whale that's just, just astounding goes... yeah so I think it was a adult and a baby or an adolescent with it that's... 
All right, we have failed to find them for the second time. They're, they've, they've gone away. Yeah, they've, they've, they've dove down. They've run away from on. us. They probably figured out where we, that we were there and gone, oh, time to go. So we are just creeping into Grand Case now, um, under sail, and should be there in about five minutes, ready to put a hook in. Why won't you let us turn the engine on? Because I hate motoring. I just like sailing as close as we can. I know that we're going to have to motor like back that way, but we have to turn to windward anyway. So you might as well just sail as close as you can before your final approach. Adam won't let us turn the motor on to get the 500 meters towards the anchorage. Well, His on. reasoning is <laughs> who knows what we might find if we stay out here we've seen dolphins and whales we might even see mermaids at this rate we might <laughs> what you just wait all right we need to get organized though because there's two boats coming going to cut us off in a minute oh really yeah. wait turn the motor on It does look a lot like a Christmas present. It really does, doesn't it? After arriving, we tested the outboard harness once more to get the dinghy in the water and head over to enjoy some birthday celebrations. Done. Still need to practice to get it down pat, but it's getting better each time. So that the only issue we had that time was that when I'm here and I'm trying to like guide the engine on, because the topping lift is sort of at the at the head of the mast, the whole lot just wants to sort of swing forward, which then just kind of launches me and the dinghy and everything forward, which usually wouldn't be a problem, but it gets caught on this panel, this solar panel. So at the end there, it was kind of rubbing on the edge of the panel, which is too much weight. So we just need to rig up a little bit of a strap, just a guide rope or a clip or something, just to keep the topping lift off that. And then we should be sweet. We woke up to a clear and calm day in Grand Case, perfect for a paddleboard and some experimental drone flying. Adam was convinced that he'd found a method to catch the drone from a moving boat without losing any fingers or, more importantly, the drone itself. Adam thinks that if we put a piece of line and a sinker on the end of the drone, that it will be significantly easier to catch. So we headed to the beach to try out the concept. All right, let's go crash our drone. Shush, don't jinx it like that. Tempting fate much? Cancel everything, cancel the test. Unfortunately, things did not go to plan. What is it? In no fly zone. Still. We'll still try and have some fun. It's a beautiful blue water out there. Go for a swim. Alright. I'll race you. Oh, why are the waves coming?
well that was fun it's about lunchtime now and we're gonna I was gonna say we're gonna head back and have lunch but we actually have no food in our fridges so Adam came up with a bright suggestion to go for a snorkel and see if we can catch ourselves a lionfish we can't go over there because it's a national park but I'm quite certain that that peninsula or that call it what you will point is not uh, so I'll We'll go and get the snorkel gear, we'll double check on the chart that it's all fair game and maybe we'll jag a little lionfish or something for dinner. Problem. You know what the best thing about beans is, is that you don't have to catch them. <laughs> Some minor technical difficulties resulted in us catching nothing. There was actually a, a whole lot of fish there. It was actually a really nice little gem of a spot that I didn't, wouldn't have ever thought was there. Um, but nothing really of plateable size, nothing worth eating. It's all coral fish. So beans and rice and an omelette for lunch. Mm -hmm. 